Hi guys, my name's Templeton Walker, and in today's video, I wanna break down how to go make a million dollars in a single year. That's a big goal for some, it's a small goal for others, but I can promise you this, it's not achievable until you really start to understand the, the math and the numbers and what you need to go do in actionable steps to actually achieve this goal. So let's break it down. So on a monthly basis, to go make a million dollars, you guys, you need to make $83,333 a month. So for this example, let's just go ahead and say 83K is what you're gonna need to go make every month. You guys, I have companies that flip houses that have very big spreads. I have a wholesale company that makes assignments. I have a title company that makes smaller fees and I have a real estate company that earns commissions. So you gotta figure out what is your product or service and then how much you get paid on average. For this example, let's go ahead and use my wholesale company and say our average assignment is $10,000. So I have a $10,000 K or $10,000 average deal size, and this is revenue to my company. I need a reverse engineer. If I know I make $10,000 every time I do a deal, how many do I need to do that month? 8.3. So for this, let's go ahead and say nine, oh, that's a funky nine, nine deals per month is what I need to achieve. That's gonna bring me $90,000 in revenue, surpassing the 83,000 a month that I need to hit a million. So now I know I need to go do nine deals a month. So I can start to really look at my business systems and say, okay, how much action does it take for me to assign nine deals a month at an average size of $10,000? This is where I can start to really start to figure out how my partners, myself, my acquisitions reps, my underwriters, how much work does it take to achieve this goal? So I know for us, we have to look at about 30 deals for us to put something under contract. So if I have to go 30 deals times nine, what's three times nine? Nine, 18, 27. So I need 270 leads and that equals one deal. So that's 30 leads you guys equals one deal. That's about how my wholesale business works. So if I need my acquisition person to go ahead and get me, if I have four acquisition people, actually for this example, it's just one person can do nine deals. So now you have to do 270 leads. How are you gonna break that down into a monthly digestible thing? So let's divide that by four, Cole. Cole's behind the camera, guys. I know this is simple enough math, but we're gonna just 270 divided by four. I need 67.5 leads a week. And then I wanna divide that by five. And I need 13.5 leads per day. Okay, now I can have an actionable plan. I can talk to my sales reps, I can talk to my acquisitions managers. If you're a solopreneur, you can look at yourself and say, you know what? I need to talk to 13.5 people a day, and if I do that, I know I'm gonna hit my weekly goal, and then my monthly goal, and my lag measure. You guys, a lag measure is something that is the result, it's not the action. My lag measure should bring me my nine deals at an average deal size of 10,000, which gets me to my $83,000 a month in gross revenue. So in this example, you guys, we're showing gross, not net, but you need to start knowing your numbers and it's so important to really understand this. So let's break it down one more time. $83,000 a month, whatever your product or service is, let's say you have a $1,000 product. Well, now you gotta go make 83 sales. That's a lot harder, right? But maybe you have a more high volume business. Whatever your metric is, put your average deal size in there, figure out how many deals you have to do, reverse engineer the amount of leads you need to go convert on those, and then reverse engineer how much action you have to take to go get that revenue. You guys, I've built a few million dollar companies per year. They are all predicated on a few simple facts. I need a certain amount of deal flow, I need an average deal size, and I need a certain amount of action to go achieve that. So I hope this is helpful. Break down your business, figure out what you need to do, actionable steps to go achieve this million dollars a year. And here's the great part, add a couple zeros you guys,
This could be 10 million, 20, 20 million, 30 million, 100 million. The math is the same, but you need to know the process to actually get there. I hope it's helpful and tell me if you've started one of your million dollar companies. Love you guys. Peace.